Hello everyone. I'd like us to do um, a spraying demo so that we can discuss best practice on how to do especially herbicide spraying because this is where we have a lot of uh, issues. So remember four tips, four tips of good herbicide spraying. Tip number one, use the correct nozzle. The correct nozzle is the flat nozzle, not the round nozzle. And this is the one that applies the herbicide in the best way possible. It applies a lot of pesticide, but it applies it in a straight line and it applies it on the weeds only so that you avoid excess um, spraying of the crop and therefore you save on pesticide and you apply it in the right way. This will help you to avoid scorching your crop and it will also ensure that you get the, the right coverage so that you don't leave out any weeds. If you're using a boom sprayer which doesn't have the flat nozzle, then ensure that you apply product to the weeds as much as you can and not onto the crop. The second tip of herbicide application is you should apply it at the right stage. Make sure that you apply it when the crop is higher than the weeds. Uh, the crop should be about six inches to one foot high and the weeds themselves should be six inches to four inches um, high. Also apply when the weed is at maximum growth. Do not wait for the weeds to grow until they have produced seeds because at that time they're not growing quickly. They're already maturing and producing uh, flowers and therefore they will not be affected as well by the herbicide. At the right stage also means don't spray when it's too wet. For example, if it's raining heavily, make sure that you don't spray immediately after the rain or immediately before the rain. Always try as much as possible to give a six hour window between the last rain and the coming rain. And that's the best time to spray. Tip number three, always use the right water at the right quality. Don't use water that has imperfections and use the water that is the correct pH. The water that you would drink essentially is the water that you should use for herbicide application. Rule number four, always ensure that you spray a foliar feed booster after you have finished applying the herbicide. This will help your crop to recover from any shock and therefore prevent your crop from getting any scorch from the herbicide. It will also help your crop to grow quickly and to grow strong uh, foliar growth, outcompete the weeds. Therefore, your weeding exercise will be successful. You can also add um, a fungicide um, to the foliar feed so that you can get rid of any residual uh, fungal diseases that may be lacking, uh, ready to attack your crop when it's in the state of shock. So the best foliar feed that we recommend is Harmony. Harmony is recommended um, uh, to, to prevent this shock. You can spray at the rate of 40 milliliters per 20 liter. If you're going to use fungicide, you can apply a fungicide that we call Stage. Stage works very well with Harmony. The two of them work together very well. And you can apply Stage at the rate of 10 milliliters per 20 liter. So, to recap our four tips. Thank you very much uh, for listening. I hope this has been of some benefit to help you to apply your herbicide more successfully in future. My name is Francis Wario. I'm the agronomist at Coopers and uh, until the next broadcast, uh, the best of luck. Mm -hmm.